Howdy, fellas. So, no reviews, no nothing. I'm, I'm going to try not to fucking ramble on. But if you haven't figured out, I live in New York yet. CBS News, I was on Yahoo because that's where America gets its fucking hard-hitting news from, Yahoo. This article is fucked up. So the title says, New York team badly injured by exploding e-cigarette. And I am going to stop to rant on shit during this thing. So, be forewarned, this little article is probably going to take me like 10-15 minutes. And this kid looks awful. And he definitely looks young. So, keep that in mind. So, a teenage boy suffered serious injuries when an e-cigarette vaporizer he was holding blew up in his face. Sounds like your typical news story, right? Guy's holding his e-cig, blam, or blam, something happened. This is where it takes a turn for the worst, guys. The 14-year-old who spent five days in the hospital, that's right, 14, fucking, barely, kid's barely a kid, was left with permanent injuries after his attorney said he was maimed and blinded by an exploding e-cigarette or vape head. I was shocked, I was bleeding out of my nose. Lior Dam Domodov said. Domodov said he was at the King's Plaza Shopping Center in Brooklyn, which is a big fucking mall in Brooklyn, with friends when they approached a kiosk called Plaza Vape. So a 14-year-old approaches a vape kiosk. If you're under, if you look under 21, they're supposed to ask you for ID. The guy was showing me different products of the vaporizers. He connected one of the vaporizers to the battery at the store. He said, when he gave it to me. To hold, it exploded in my hands and my face. So this fucking, probably a fucking, not to insult anybody, probably a fucking Russian or an Armenian was fucking at this vape stand, saw a fucking kid, didn't give a fuck. And here you go, here's an e-cig. You know, whatever. Uh, Domodov now wears sunglasses after the explosion sends shrapnel flying into his eyes. Into his fucking eyes, this poor kid. My left eye, I can't see anything right now, because I got a cut through my cornea, so he's probably got permanent damage. And in my right eye, I have a little bit of vision, he said. So the kid's almost fucking blind, and his face looks like he got really fucked up. At first, Dam uh, Domodov wasn't sure what had happened. Then he realized he was bleeding, because this fucking thing blew up in his face. I see, like, red stuff on the floor, and I'm like, oh my god, is this blood? So I start crying, of course you do, you're 14, you're scared shit. Why does it hurt? It hurt me in my hands, he said. Domodov's attorney, Mark Froon, hopefully this guy's a Jew, will get you a lot of money. Froon intends to sue both the shopping center and the kiosk. I would sue the fucking shit out of these people. Having a fucking, a giant mall is letting a fucking kiosk operate that sells things that have an age requirement, and they're not checking to see if he just fucking, anybody willy-nilly walking up. Hey, here, try this. Big pen. They don't ask him for any ID, nothing, and they're showing different types of products. There are no signs up that reflect the New York State and City law. It's illegal to sell these products to anyone under the age of 21, he said. Damn right it is. The kiosk now has a sign posted that reads, Must be 21 to purchase any product, we ID all. Froon claims that the notice went up after it. Of course it is. These fucking morons from East Europe are trying to fucking protect themselves. They're out of business. But, fortunately, the world we live in, They'll just fucking start doing business under a new name. That's, you know, how we work in this country. The corporate management offices for King's Plaza did not apply for a request for comment. Neither would I. The kiosk worker there on Thursday said he could not speak to the incident or provide a phone number for the manager. Of course not. These motherfuckers are ghosts. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they go back to their fucking country if they're fucking Eastern European. I would. Fuck America. Let's go back. Let's not pay this huge lawsuit. All up an e-cig shop in Moscow. Uh, oh, here we go. Now it just goes into something else. This is the this isn't the first report of e-cigarettes malfunctioning and injuring people. In January, an Orange County, California teen suffered first and second degree burns when e-cigarette exploded in his pocket. I wonder if that's gas station guy. Because gas station guy should have been put to the fucking music of "I'm on fire" from the 70s, because that would have been hilarious. But nobody did that. Boom. So. A man from Colorado Springs was severely injured in November when an e-cigarette exploded in his face. That sucks. Leaving him with a... 
Even with a broken neck, facial facial fractures, burns to his mouth. Which, oh man, I wonder if that's that black kid. That one kid got fucked up bad. Uh, and last spring, CBS Los Angeles reported that a Santa Ana man was injured after his e-cigarette blew up in his hands. The explosion sent half the device into the ceiling, starting at a starting a fire in his apartment. Uh, I wonder if that's a guy. There was a. I got to see if I can find the link. There was a guy that kind of debunked this a little bit. I think the kid was using a hybrid mod with the wrong tank, and that's probably what set this whole thing off. I got to find that for you guys. Last year, the federal government banned e cigarettes from checked luggage on aircraft because of potential fire hazards. The Department of Transportation said it had reports of. I forget to put at. At least 26 incidents since 2009 in which e cigarettes had caused explosions or fires. 26 incidents since 2009 with the million smoking. And it's probably most of that's probably user error. Now, most of the time, I think most of the explosions happen. There's fucking tanks on wrong fucking mods. I think that's most of the time where your cover comes off and your battery comes to the contact of metal. It arcs and boom, you got a fucking your battery vents. Boom, it explodes. I'm not an expert at this, but the basics. The basics, people. I actually, uh, well, my ex to uh, Moscow to visit her parents. And I brought my ego battery, my, t my little fucking, uh, my little tank, you know, brought onto the plane, no problem. Fucking, they said no vaping and no e-cigs, no smoking on the plane. It'll set off, the, they also mentioned e-cigs will set off the smoke alarm. And keep in mind, this wasn't this. This I would not dare do on a fucking plane. But, I took my little... My little uh, above all tank out. And I said, fuck it. We're in the air. You're not going to turn around. <sighs> right in the smoke detector. Nothing. I did that the whole fucking flight. It was beautiful. So, now, safety first, kids. Make sure, also, I had one die on me a while ago my Ego Style batteries. So I, uh, you know, just me being fucking moron. See these two little things there and there? Clean that. It's kind of important. You want to make a nice connection. You want to make a murky connection. So, and, on a side note. So, I reviewed the Heracles Plus. It was a nice tank when I reviewed it. I liked it. It wasn't one of my favorites, but I liked it. Strong tank. I changed the coil. I had it sitting there for a little while. So, I decided the last couple of days, let me start using this thing a little bit. Put a fresh coil in. I bought a fire pack with it because I fucking always do that. Before I even find out if I like the coil, it's like, let me just get a fire pack. And I fucking juice this thing up. Wow. Immediately number three favorite right behind the Cleto and fucking Triton. Excuse me. I just had a lot of cases of you. Great cottage, good airflow. It's good taste. Great taste. Not, not as much as my other two. You know how much I love the other two. But it's been really good. So if you're looking, if you're checking it out, I'll put this as an update too on the, uh, on the, uh, when I type out the description for this video. Also on a side note, because I am fucking retarded. I did this video already. So this is the second time I'm doing it. But, the only trick this time is, I made sure the camera was on video and not picture. Because I had this little box hidden behind my text. And I wasn't looking at the picture. Just assuming it was on. My blue lights are on. So I wasted like 10 minutes. Did a great fucking video. I mean it was. You never get to see it because it was. You had to be in the moment. So I fucked that up. It's not bad. Fucking up this channel enough. So. But eventually. You guys seem to be coming. Slowly but surely. I think I got more shit to talk about, but I gotta take a quick break, because I gotta take a leak. Alright guys, I made pee pee like an adult, so I'm ready to go. I'm gonna try something different, since I, I cut this already, and I wouldn't, you know, have to go back and do anything. Found a nice little thing, I just, I haven't read it yet, so if it sucks, it's not going on YouTube. But this is an article from churnmag.com. Nine ways you're probably damaging the vaping movement and making us look like idiots. 
Electronic cigarette veterans are fighting hard to ensure that the e-cig industry succeeds. Unfortunately, some rookie vapors have no idea how to use an e-cig without offending everyone around them. I did a video on offending people, so maybe I might like this. I'm probably going to chew this bitch up. I mean, not that I'm going to like it, I'm actually going to chew the bitch up that wrote the article. If you don't follow some basic rules of e-cig etiquette, you will end up making all vapors look like idiots. Don't give e-cigs a bad rap. Here are nine ways you could potentially damage the vaping movement. And what, and what you should do to avoid them. Alright, let's find out this fucking insightful girl's insight. Okay, what is this? Number one, you treat your e-cig like a fog machine. Well, fuck you, so do I. Biatch. When it comes to e-cig vapor, bigger isn't always better. I beg to differ. As electronic cigarettes technology advances, we have seen a lot of vapors go crazy with over-the-top mods. Now, this isn't over-the-top. This is normal. Rookie vapors view the huge vapor clouds as the ultimate e-cig experience, and they can't wait to explore the powerful atomizers that create monster clouds. However, the average non-smoker is going to be super annoyed if you're constantly blowing out massive waves of vapor. Don't treat your e-cig like a fog machine. Use it responsibly and consider how other people might feel when you are vaping in public. Listen. I'm all for fucking etiquette. I'm fucking Captain Etiquette. But, if I'm far enough away where this shit isn't going near anybody, I'm smoking my fucking balls off. I don't give a fuck if they think I look like a dick. I look like a dick for a lot of other reasons. Just add the vape to the list. Alright. Ah, oh, this person must live out of state. We don't do this shit in New York. Two, you vape in the movie theater. I wish I could, but I would be ejected. Nothing is more annoying than paying to watch a movie and finding yourself behind an inconsiderate e-cig user. Even if non-smokers are okay with vaping, they will be extremely frustrated when your vapor clouds block the view of big screens. The fuck are you vaping? Blocking out a whole fucking 60-foot screen? Good for you. <laughs> fucking find out what that is so I can review it. Put that small light on the tip of your e-cig will be... Oh. Plus, that small light on the tip of your e-cig will be really noticeable and distracting to other movie. Uh, you just fucking said, how is the cig light going to do that? Nah, Alright, let's keep reading. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, if noticeable and distracting to other movie watchers, once the light goes dim. If that little fucking light on the end of your blue cig is going to distract you from watching a movie, then you have severe ADD and you should seek medication immediately. If you must take a vape break at the theater, step out to the lobby or go outside. Look, most of us are doing this shit now. You can't do this in a movie theater stealthily anymore. I've gotten away with it a little bit with my, my Aspire tank, but you don't fucking be just like, take a quick pull. They're all fucking addicts. Alright. Three, you get called down for vaping at your kid's school. What the fuck is this? When you go for parent-teacher conference on PTA meetings, refuse the urge to pull out your e-cig and take a puff, even if things get stressful. Schools have strict no smoking policy. And even though your e-cig is technically smoke-free, it still projects a bad image to children. Vaping on school premises is a recipe for disaster, and it's the kind of dangerous behavior that will get e-cigs totally banned from public areas in your city. Um, New York. That was years ago. This woman's from out of state. You fake bathroom break and vape on the toilet. Who doesn't shit and vape? I fucking did it at work like seven times today. This is actually a pretty common thing for new e-cig users. When you get that nicotine cream, now that's why I carry my fucking Nautilus tank, because you could shit and vape all day. No way to be the wiser. Uh, you know, okay, this is actually a pretty common thing for new e-cig users. When you get that nicotine craving, you don't want to draw attention by vaping in the office or in front of your family, so you duck into the bathroom and vape while you pretend to do your business. There's no pretender when I go. There are a couple of problems with this. First of all, if you're in a public restroom and people walk in, they could be alarmed by the huge cloud of vapor hanging in the air. You keep, you mentioned sigil likes and you keep talking about, I've never seen a sigil like go let off a huge cloud. It's barely a fucking puff. Second, you might raise suspicions when you're visiting the bathroom way more than usual. And they might just think you got a IBS. Anybody can have irritable bowel syndrome. Wild bowels, whatever you call it. Eventually, people will catch on. If you need to use your e sig just step into another room. Or walk outside. Thanks, bitch. Where's my other e-cig? Oh. Oh. Pause this for one second. I want to grab my spot. Alright. Now, I don't want you to think I wasn't going to come back and finish this. Now, five. You vape indoors and smoke outdoors. 
I see people do this. Fucking people that have been vaping for years. They do, eh, but, you know, everybody, everybody's got their own struggles. When you first start using electronic cigarettes, dual use is pretty common. Yes, it is. I'm with, right with you on this one. While you're making the transition from smoking to vaping, you might slip up and smoke, smoke a cigarette once in a while. I did the same shit. Can't rant on it. That's totally normal. However, it is really not a good idea to make the habit of using both e-cigs and cigarettes. Some people end up vaping non-stop indoors, and then any time they walk outside or get in the car, they smoke instead. Yeah, that's bad. If you do this, please stop. Well, thank you. Thanks for that fucking tidbit. It gives the appearance that you cannot go five minutes without nicotine. I can. It makes e-cigarettes look bad, and it causes people to think that e-cigs are making nicotine addiction worse instead of better. It's counterproductive, and it really hurts the vaping industry, so please stop. I don't think that hurts the vaping industry. I think that makes the individual look like a fucking crackhead a little bit. Because they're going to... Your co-workers are definitely talking shit about you. Every co-workers do that. Mine do it. We all do it. It's fucking natural. Just don't care. This could be a good one. Six, you are condescending and rude to smokers. Don't act like you're better than smokers. Now, you actually shouldn't. Try to lead them. Don't judge them. Remember that you used to be just like them, and just because you made the switch to e-cigarettes, you are not superior. That is correct. While you might passionately disagree with their choice to continue using tobacco, you won't convert anyone to e-cigs by taking, by taking, oh, talking down to them. Sorry, I'm dyslexic. A little kindness can go a long way in showing people that e-cigs are a good alternative, and she's 100% right on that one. Thanks, lady. You act like an e-cig evangelist. I get called an e-cig evangelist, but that's just because I'm vaping all the time. This has nothing to do with it. I don't preach. People will usually ask me and annoy the shit out of me with their fucking questions. Now, I do a YouTube channel, and I'm just like, oh, you're like the fucking vape guru. No, I'm not even like 122nd on the vape guru list. Uh, you act like an e-cig evangelist. It's awesome that you are pumped about vaping. Yeah. But don't act like a walking billboard for your favorite brand. I would never do that. I would never do that. You got e juice who hasn't sent me a single thing for free. You owe me. You will quickly become annoying and everyone will avoid you. Feel free to tell your friends about your choice to vape. When they ask about it, share information and be prepared to back your claims with research. Mm, not usually, but it can happen. However, don't go over the top and treat your e cig habit like a political campaign. Nah, that's kind of douchey. That's very douchey. There's no need to consistently bash smokers on social media to hound your friends night and day to try e cigs. See, I've gotten my friends to try e cigs. Some of them might want one friend, Jay, fucking burn his throat. He, he couldn't use them, but he quit anyway. You know, he just quit completely, which is a fucking better goal. Just fucking get off everything. Alright. You leave e-cig cartridges everywhere. Wow. What year was this written? I haven't left an e-cig cartridge anywhere in like three years plus. Your family will quickly be annoyed if they find out, find your old e-cig cartridges lying around all over the house. What are you, a fucking pig? Clean that shit up. Throw them away. When you are done, and don't expect others to clean up after you. That's correct. Remember that the cartridges contain nicotine, and even old cartridges can pose a risk to pets and children. No, that's, yeah, if you have children and pets in the house, and you're leaving your fucking cartridges around, you're an asshole. Irresponsible asshole. Don't leave your vaping gear lying around, or you could risk a deadly accident. Fucking, that fucking table is a deadly accident. There's enough firepower and batteries on there to fucking blow the side of my building out, and I sleep next to it. Now, this one I do is a fucking goof at work. You blow vapor in someone's face. Gash is never going to see this. When this guy's fucking in the front of the truck at work, I fucking inhale as much as my lungs can take, and I go right over and fucking fog him out. He doesn't give a fuck. He's an ex-smoker. Everybody laughs. It's funny. They usually ask me to do it to people in the fucking front seat. Unless it's the boss. Then I won't get overtime, so I don't fuck with him. Please, for the love of all that is good and tobacco-free, do not blow your e-cig vapor in someone's face. This is giving electronic cigarettes such a bad rep. We've seen it on social media on more than one occasion. People are venting about inconsiderate e-cig users that puff on their e-cigs and then blow the vapor right at the person they're talking to. 
Even though the vapor isn't dangerous like secondhand smoke, it is still offensive when someone blows it straight in your face. Turn your head and exhale in order to in the other direction so you don't offend people around you. Why are some Pardon me. Why are some other things that e-cig users do that make you look bad? And there are any other etiquette tips, the new vapors and all that's your only etiquette tip. Yeah, look, if uh I try not to blow into people's fucking faces. You know, at least if I'm like they're here and I'm here, it's like and also, which is key to not blowing it in their face, please take note of the direction of the wind. You don't want to blow it this way and it comes right back and fucking smash them in the face. Just do a little caddy shack. Doesn't hurt. Listen, if I'm walking around doing this all day, non vapors would probably think I'm a fucking asshole no matter what. I could fucking have cured cancer. Because I have this in my mouth, I'm a fucking walking stereotype. But I got big fucking arms, so nobody says anything. And I look psychotic. Alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a, a quick second. I'm gonna see if I can find another one of these fucking things. Because that was actually fun. I hope you're enjoying it, because I just had a lot of fun bashing the shit out of that thing. Alright, this is gonna be a quick one. I found on the Bro Bible with some, some douchebag ranting on vapors. My stance on people who vape has always been this. You could also not vape. Like to anyone that vapes or wants to vape or is thinking about taking up vaping or love vaping, you could also not vape. This is true. Which to me is the logical choice. Everyone should not vape. But people do predominantly to quit cigarettes that I support. But then you should also quit vaping after you quit smoking. You obviously understand nothing about vaping. Because... This guy probably does cocaine recreationally in the bathroom on a Tuesday morning, but he's going to lecture people on vaping. Because cool as it looks, and it looks so cool, put that in capitals. Seriously, how many ladies have you boned? Who used the word boned? A fucking guy that doesn't get any ladies, that's who. Since you, How many ladies have you boned since you took up vaping? Thousands? Thousand? Question mark? Turns out vaping is terrible for you, and it's not just because you look like a loser. And it goes on, it cites the rhetorical fucking nonsense of, uh, you know, the fucking Yahoo articles on health about vaping. So, speaking for myself, I can't speak for the people that watch this. How many ladies have I boned since I took up vaping? I haven't boned any ladies. I've had sex with ladies. I've fucked ladies. I've never boned them, because that's some shit that they said when I was like two, but, uh, God, I don't put up huge numbers, I'm more about quality than quantity, uh, let me think about it. that's a question you should think about, a lot, I mean, especially now with this Tinder shit, girls are fucking serial daters like guys are. But don't give me that shit you're not getting laid because you're fucking vape. If you're not getting laid, it's either because you have no game. I have no game. But I just talk a lot. And eventually I say funny shit, even if it's by accident. So that helps. You also got to look decent. You know, if you're a slob, you're going to get slobby women. That's just a fact of life. I'm not putting anybody down. You know, some people have weight problems. You're going to get less girls with weight problems. Or not that you're going to get less girls, you're not going to get the quality you want. Has nothing to do with your vaping. If a girl isn't gonna fucking want to hook up with you because you vape, she's a fucking loser anyway. Just don't blow smoke in her face. Then you're the asshole, and then she shouldn't fuck you. But uh, that's sad on that guy. I'm gonna go see. We're just gonna fucking pound these out. I'm gonna fucking pound them. I'm gonna stop this for a second. I got fingerprints all over the dresser I just cleaned, and I want to actually get a drink, 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 drink. You know. Big boy drink. Alright guys, I am back with more articles. Alright, this one is from douche.com. People who vape are fucking douchebags. We shall see. I may agree with some of this stuff. Now it starts off, uh, I'm gonna, I'm saving all these tabs open. I'm gonna put links for all the shit I, I talked about in case you actually give two shits and want to look at it. But there's an extremely hot girl smoking e so there's nothing wrong with that. Vaping is the newest and most annoying douchebaggery since fake reading glasses. Here are some points I'd like. Listen, 
fake reading glasses are way fucking douchier than this. Uh, if I can be a douchebag and check out. Alright. If you didn't quit smoking, asshole, you're basically still smoking. Yes and no. There's a difference. Stop telling us your quit date. I don't know if anybody does that. If you're still vaping, and you're saying quit date from like five years ago, I would just skip that and say, yeah, I forgot when I quit, but I've been vaping for five years. He's right, that does actually sound douchey. Fucking asshole. Can't believe I agree with this fuck. You basically are a cheater. Not really. You're still puffing nicotine. Sure do. I'd sure fucking hope you could quit cigs. These are like those boozers who say I quit drinking or to find out they still drink wine because that somehow doesn't count. That's completely fucking different. You are, whoever wrote this article, is the fucking douchebag if he's writing this. So he's completely fucking wrong. Uh, not even in the same ballpark as a uh, alky, ex-alky that says he doesn't drink and drinks wine. Okay. No one gives three shits about your clouds. That's not true. I'm sure there's somebody that cares about my clouds. Oh, I just want to move this over. Oh, fuck a Rooney. Alright. Let me just... I gotta move this. I'm sorry, guys. I stopped speaking, and I know you love hearing me speak. Alright, there we go. Nope, let me get back to that. Alright. No one gives three shits about your clouds. Hmm. Clouds are for the sky. Clouds are not for my coffee shop. Clouds in my coffee shop usually signify some shit is burning down. And that's never good. No one put, no one but you is impressed by your clouds. Are cam girls impressed by your cock size also? Oh man. You must have the life. I love these fucking rant things. It just shows how fucking pathetic the people that write them are. If this is your fucking main hate in life, you're a fucking loser. But I wouldn't fucking pull clouds in my local coffee shop because one, it's New York and it's illegal, and fucking two, it's just fucking bad etiquette, dude. Stop saying mod. It's fucking dumb. Mm, no, nah, not really. No. What do you fucking call you? Device? Device sounds stupid. No one, uh, no one even knows what that means. Just say battery. It's a battery, asshole. That's all. I may start calling my watch battery. My time empowerment now just to be a stupid asshole. Mod. That's a mod. You're talking about single likes or ego batteries. If you vape shit like candy, you're a creepy shithead. If it tastes like milk, you are disgusting. If you tell people what it tastes like, I hate you. This is the guy that writes these articles that in his daily life is probably a giant pussy. Those who write these articles, because I see like tons of these articles, but I've never met the human being that actually has the balls to say this to anybody. If you uh, stop pissing on smokers, cigs are good. Some of you have become the Jehovah's Witness of cigs are good. Is this a fucking joke? Cigs are good. Some of you have become the Jehovah's Witness of addictions, knocking on everyone's door, just saying, stay out of regular smoking sections. Anybody says cigs are good is a fucking moron. This guy must be. This guy's definitely from fucking Australia or some shit. Then you got pictures of fucking some older black lady vaping. She looks like she's having a good time. Some super hot girl vaping. Some guy blowing a little cloud. He looks like he's having a good time. And some other hot girl vaping. There you go. All right. So what do you got? I think there's another link on here to something else. Is this another link or not? Nah, it's not another link. Bullshit advertisement. Advertising vaping on a fucking thing that he's shitting on vaping. So that's a funny thing I find with, uh... I'm not gonna look up any more articles. I'm done. I think I'm done. Don't quote me on that. Uh, I always see this shit, like, uh, online. It's like, I fucking told this guy to go shove his vape up his ass. I told the guy, listen... Even if that did happen, and you said that to a guy, you're a fucking maniac. 
and you should be shot. So it's just some weird shit. Sorry, I got my computer on a fucking round candle, so it's a little higher. I like the way it looks a little higher. The little things, the little things. So you know what? I'm gonna try to scratch together one more thing before I get the fuck out of here. All right, guys. One more, I promise, and I'm out. So. This is from the metro.co.uk. So, this is foreign shit. So, let's hear why they hate fucking vapors. Uh, it's wrong. Uh, the ghastly smell. It's wrong to say it doesn't matter because it's better than smoking. Of all, of course it is. But those vapor plumes have a hard stench all of their own. Hot, dry smell and often flavored. They're really quite disgusting in their own right. Okay. You know what? Some fucking people I've smelled it myself. Some people shit smells downright fucking awful because there's a lot of people that buy super duper cheap vapor. So might not be completely wrong on that. The posing. Smokers have been banished and now huddle them ashamed with their gasperous. The vapor is a Gregarious beast and vaping has become the sport of posers. Whether it's in the Pied Piper look gripping the sonic screwdriver sized e cig device with two hands, the people who treat it like the chanter of the bagpipes, or the cigar style of user. Using it to punctuate conversation, it's always done with great and annoying gusto. No wonder gaping is so popular with hipsters. It's another prist. Pretentious prop for drawing attention to yourself. He's not completely wrong. I've been to Williamsburg. A lot. A lot, a lot. And the hipsters have dominated the vaping culture here. Completely dominated the vaping culture. And I'm not sure. I mean, I'm sure they enjoy it. I'm sure some of them are like smokers, but. It does give it that stigma that uh, vaping is bullshit because the hipsters are doing it. You know, it. it uh, I mean, listen, the hipsters are great. They're li usually liberal kids. Liberal kids fight for rights. They will fight for vaping rights. So I don't give a fuck if they're the biggest posers in the world. If they're out there fucking marching with their fists and shit, fucking vape away, bruh. Ooh. Vapors often have an evangelical air. This guy's using big words. I like him. They're doing something good. They're improving themselves and becoming better humans. It has transformed their life. Even saved it. But the one thing they haven't done is kick the drug. The fact is that the diluted vapor are still entirely addicted to nicotine. Seems entirely lost on them. It's not that, you know, we're addicted to whatever. Well, I'm, you know, I can go without the, I've gone without the nicotine here plenty and haven't had a problem. I just prefer, I think, the taste a little different with the nicotine. So for me, it's a, more of a taste issue. And why most of us went from smoking to vaping is a lifestyle issue because we love smoking. And this gave us the ability to do so at a much safer cost. And a, in most cases, a lower cost. Here's cigarettes are like 12 bucks a pack, so it's hard to top that. Unproven science, there might well be one on the way to stop smoking, but who have other concerns and oh, the WHO, not who, not the band. The WHO have other concerns and the science jury's out. Sweet vaping device might appeal to kids, they say the vapor itself may be harmful, we just don't know. Government should regulate them more because e-cigs are allowed to be advertised on like tobacco products. There's a risk that might even be considered to not that they're really allowed to be advertised. I see a blue commercial fucking once in a blue. You know, uh these fucking companies don't spend money on advertising. They go on the internet and do that shit. And we all know it doesn't count because it's the internet. And there's no fucking rules still. So. I think that's it. But it's just funny how how other people see vaping. Other people just fucking flat out hate people that vape. Don't understand. Don't want to understand. They have their own assumptions. And they're going to keep spouting that shit forever. Let me just fucking. I'm not doing any more fucking. Reading. I did my reading share for the night. You know, most people fucking, you know, I see people, I've gotten looks, you know, like, the fuck is that? But that's even pretty rare. 
most people are starting to know what this is, I guess. And, you know, it's becoming an accepted part of culture. You know, it's, it's fucking in the dictionary, baby. But, I mean, for the most part, you know, just don't be a dick about it. Don't give fucking people a reason to fucking look at you like you're an asshole. Don't do that. Don't be the guy that just because it's still illegal to do indoors. You know why it's going to be illegal in your state to do indoors? Because you fucking do stupid shit. And the politicians look for any reason to fucking ban things they don't understand. They don't understand these things at all. But, and I know, I'm starting an e-cig channel and I'm supposed to be all fucking rah-rah with the movement. No, it shouldn't be fucking done indoors because it is pretty obnoxious for the most part. If you're doing this, it's not that bad. So that's not bad. And why I did that for so many years before I went sub I mean, was because it's completely, completely satisfying to me. And I started doing that and I got into the flavors and I just liked everything a little bit more. Excuse me. Bet you don't see that in your other vape channels. But, you know, they're going to make fucking illegal to smoke everywhere. Because that's just how politicians are. They're fucking dicks. Even if you did. Say you did. I'm going to retract my last statement. Say you did only do these. Say sub oming was not even invented and this was the best thing on the market. It doesn't really bother anyone. Not that much smoke. Even if you chain vaping, it's not that much smoke. They'll make it illegal anyway because that's what they do. They're assholes. That's what assholes do. Politicians are so out of touch with everything. They're gonna... Oh, oh, that smoke coming out. Nah, can't do that. Can't do that. No. When you're banning fucking like trans fats and shit, yeah, I kind of understand. Okay. Shouldn't be in the food. Thanks, Mary Boomberg. Thanks for looking out for a brother. But, I mean, as far as the other shit goes, you know, they're gonna fucking look to make it illegal. They're gonna look to tax it. You should get on uh, Kassad.org and I'm on there. I actually should say that in the video every now and then. At least put up like a little note when I, when I pop these on YouTube before I do their editing thing. Kassad.org, it'll tell you everything. I mean, it's, it's, there's a ton of, shit ton of information. Uh, I don't see much stuff on New York in there, though. It's usually other states, so it doesn't really apply to me a lot. I mean, they've, they've already hit us. The only thing we gotta watch out here for is, uh, if they try to tax it. If they try to tax it, they're probably gonna try to tax, like, cigarettes, which will make it unaffordable, and make a lot of people go back to smoking ciggies. Me, I think I'm at a point where I could... Just give it all up. Because I've, you know, my vape is broke when I'm I'm away or something something happens where I can't vape for like a day and a half. I'm pretty much fine with it. You know, I mean, it's the habit of, for me, it's all too, it's like a habit of having something in your hand. You know, especially when I drive, I'm driving for a while, you want to vape. But, you know, I think I could give this shit up. You know, and I wouldn't go back to smoking. Smoking is disgusting. And if I lost this, I'd just fucking hang it up. I'd hang it up, and I'd still do YouTube, and I'd just fucking talk. And I'd talk, and I'd talk, and I'd talk. And I'd probably lose whatever little subscriber base I had, but I'd keep talking. Because I actually enjoy this. I'm still enjoying it. I thought I would get tired of this by now, but it's actually kind of fun to see why people do it. So, I don't know, I don't know if I feel like talking anymore. I might be done. I don't want to bore you people. You know, if I can't think of anything to say, it's not going to be fun. But, I mean, as far as the vaping and stuff, they're going to ban you anyway. It's definitely going to happen. It sucks. I, I wish it wouldn't. I wish they would leave some people fucking alone. I understand they live in the heart of Liberal Central. That's fine. They don't want it in the bars. They don't, I understand why they don't want it. I understand. You might live in some more conservative states. Maybe it's a little different for you guys. I don't know. I've never lived. I lived in New York my whole life. So, I don't know if you're in, uh, in some red states over there where it's, you know, they're a little cooler with stuff than uh, us. But, hopefully they are. Hopefully you get the luxury of being able to vape indoors. What I've noticed is even though the vaping, you know, the vaping indoors is illegal, vape shops are pretty much left alone. I haven't heard one story about a vape shop where a cop came in and said, hey, we can't do that shit in here. I'm going to find your business. You know, they just you vape freely. I guess, you know, it's an unwritten understanding, you know, it's like vaping, smoking, they, you know, toe the line, they know where to fucking toe the line, because it's not smoking, and you're in a vape shop, 
If you can't vape in a vape shop, you might as well fucking hang this shit up. You're not gonna make much business if you guys can't sit in there all day and fucking vape. I like the BYOB fucking places like Gotham. You just bring your own beer, hang out and chill. Not bad. Not a bad deal. Ah, uh, see now, if I would have did a channel on not vaping and just talking, I would have did like videos about like people who fat shame and stuff like that. That I could rank about for hours, but this isn't the fucking thing for it. And I am not starting a second channel. Why? Because I don't fucking feel like it. That's why. Too much work. This one's enough work. But, there, right, guys. I am done. I hope you've enjoyed the ramblings of a fucking complete lunatic. And, uh, have a good night. Don't forget. Subscribe. You don't have to share this one if you don't want. This one's like for us. This for like the inner circle of the 26 of us. You can subscribe. You can share. And you can. I encourage you guys to comment because uh, I will answer you back. It pops up on my phone, so I tend to answer back right away if I'm not busy. We can have a little conversation. You ask me some fucking questions. Say, hey, what do you think about this? And I'll be like, hey, it's fucking decent. But don't waste your money. Like I said... These are all my opinions. I'm not a fucking professional anything. So, take it with a grain of salt, guys. Have a good night.